Greetings. My name is Elias, and I've been asked to give tarot uh, reviews for Goddess Elite. This review will be on the Witch's Tarot by Ellen Dugan. I find this tarot to be very, very useful for me with sp certain clients here and there. Uh, as I had noted in another video, I have a primary deck, but this deck always stays with me. I get those questions or I get that sense that something is different for a client it requires a different style of reading. And this deck I find to be very, very useful in that manner. Because again, while the imagery is quite artistic and in depth, very beautiful, very useful. But I find that what the cards tell me is something much, much different. Oh, the deck itself is also much easier to handle as it's more the size of a regular playing deck, if not just a little bit smaller. But this deck, this deck has movement in its energy. You can see the wind blows as a man who has come to, to a point of reasonable success and now contemplates his world and tries to figure out where am I going next? Or the one who has made his way and shares his generosity. And yet the movement is, also contains the magic of will and knowledge, action, and guidance in those darker places. But while there is a definite beauty and movement and brightness to the deck, does not shy away from the starkness of telling you exactly what's going on. There's always something a little bit different in the deck. It's all about perspective. Is it judgment? Is it karma? Is it just what you got coming, however you call it? But it's here. What do I find is the particular strength of this deck? How is this deck different to me than my primary? You will find that there are many readers who have a knowledge or remembering or an understanding of the court cards as being people and personality types. Generally, I have a problem with this. This deck, however, that kind of overcomes the problem for me. Because if you look at the court cards, you can see the type of people that they are depicting. The man who is sure of himself and willing to move forward and let's just go have some fun. Then the guy who's holding on to his emotions for all to see the perpetual poker face you're not going to know what's going on in me. Women can be just as light or just as strong. And they're quick to show you this too. But what about the doers? The ones that say a lot. And the ones that are in for the long haul. But I got to love the pages, the youthfulness of them. And in these pages, they don't separate the men from the, bo the girls, or the boys from the girls, the men from the women. It's about the personality type. Quite frankly, beautiful, kind of materialistic if you look, if you look at this. That's the way I see it. Yeah. But then you have your adventurer. 
he's definitely willing to give it a shot and try new things. Then there's the one, she may be a messenger, but she's definitely bringing good tidings. These cards are special in their own right. Every deck is. Every deck will speak to everybody else differently. But don't be afraid to go where you're drawn. Start slow. Get a feel for it. Let the magic take you where it's going to go. Enjoy.